Welcome back to KK's Quilt Studio. Today, this is a video for all of you out there who are feeling a little bit computer challenged. We're going to talk about saving files and how to get organized, navigate around your computer, and retrieve those files so that you can stitch them out on your next quilting project. Think of your computer like a big filing cabinet. Yeah, I know our studios are a mess and you've got papers laying all over the place, but the computer is where you really want to get organized. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is our file explorer. So this is for Windows 10 users. Sorry, Mac. I've taken a screenshot of my uh, desktop and when I click on the little Windows navigation down here on the taskbar, up pops this little menu. We're looking for File Explorer. I go there often to navigate directly to the file I want or I keep tiles out here on the sides for things that I use a lot. You can might be also able to find it down here on the taskbar. So this little bar that goes across the bottom of your screen is called the taskbar. And right here is what we're looking for. It looks like a bunch of file folders. This is a picture of my file folder when I open it up. So I have everything here along the side that I need to um, get quick access to because I use it a lot. My storage in the cloud and then here is a brief synopsis of what my computer contains. You'll see the little drop down menus I can open so that menu expands. So I click on the down arrow, it'll close. This arrow to the right opens. So you'll see up here on the navigation bar I'm under this PC, under a folder called Documents, my business name, and then all my long arm designs are organized, you'll see here, by folders for each company. And then I have some extra little PDF documents, but this is like one drawer of my file cabinet where I keep my long arm designs that I've purchased or downloaded. I'll click on this one because this was the conversation of a recent Facebook um, discussion about opening designs. I'm going to go down to, you'll see here are zip files and this was the discussion about zip files. We'll go ahead and click on Amelia, I double clicked, left click with my mouse, and a new window pops up. Let's see if I can drag this over here. And this is the zip file extractor. You'll see there is my folder that I want to extract the files from. This is the file that I downloaded from My Creative Stitches. Here's where I located that when I filed it away in my file explorer so that I could come back and retrieve it. If I double click again on this folder, it will open up all the files contained within that folder. And that's what I need to see, or I need to um, select a file to transfer to my thumb drive to my system. Now I can open all of these by selecting Control A on my keyboard or I can go up to edit and select all but really I only need this one file okay I now want to extract that file I want to take it explo um, exploded basically out of that zip file and I want to this is where it's going to copy to and actually you'll see it's my creative stitches but i want to create a folder called amelia edge to edge so that i can retrieve it from my creative stitches 
So I'll click on this little little box with the dots and this will give me again another tree of my and you see of my computer and I'm navigating down here where I want and there is my creative stitches where it's going to send it right now let's click on that little arrow to the right cuz there's that means there's more in that file folder I want to navigate I've already created this folder if you need to create a new one simply click make new folder and give it the title of the design so I'll click that and say that's where I want to store it say OK and then now this is changed that's where it's going to store that file that I open and click OK since I've already done this I don't need to save it one more time okay we're done with the zip file opening now I can go back to that folder that I created and here I've opened all the files and here's the file I want to send over to my thumb drive so if I go down and close my PC all I have to do is click on this file I'm gonna left click and drag and I can drag that right down to my USB and you'll see now it says copy to the USB if I want to put it in a folder I'm gonna copy it to the class folder under the USB drive in my computer so it's gonna say are you sure you want to copy without its properties yes that's fine and it copies now I'll take a little aside here and tell you this is my personal way of organizing this is how my brain works um, this is my personal way of organizing my design files for quilting you may have something that uh, something else that works for you a different filing system but decide on a filing system that will work for you and how organization makes sense to you best your computer is going to look different than mine but it these first portions here of this PC and documents and then something 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 afterwards those folders are going to look different than what's on my computer there are also programs that will help you uh, organize your design files but for this video we're just going to talk about how you can get organized using the computer system that you have so now I'm going to go to my Pro Stitcher Premium and I'll join you there. Okay, we've taken our thumb drive out of our computer at our desk and moved over to the machine. We've started up Pro Stitcher Premium. I'm doing this in simulator, um, but similar process, almost the same you'll enter uh, you'll plug in your thumb drive into the machine and now let's go retrieve that design so that we can bring it up let's go to the file tab and design and you'll see here I have a lot of the recent files that I've used and you'll also have file open now this since I'm at my desktop with the simulator of course it's got another picture of my C drive on my computer there's those arrows again and if I click on that arrow it will close that C drive now it's similar to what it looks like at my tablet at my machine here is my thumb drive C will always be your hard drive 
and F or G, however your drive is titled, is going to be your thumb drive. So let's go look for that file. Remember that I saved. I put it under the thumb drive under the class folder. And there is Amelia edge to edge. Click on it and it appears down here the title of the file and we're going to click open. There it opens to my desktop and you see it was just as simple as that. Now some of you are talking about saving designs to your tablet at your quilting machine at your frame. I personally don't like it, don't want to recommend that you do that. Um, I prefer to store mine on my hard drive of my desktop and back it up to uh, a thumb drive, a CD, or some type of backup media. You can keep your files in the cloud, um, but I don't want to clutter up my tablet at my machine. If you wanted to save this file at your machine, if that's what you prefer to do, I would go, now that I have this design up on the table, it's selected because it's highlighted, go to File and we're going to select Save from the ribbon and we're going to save this selected design file. Now, right now it's defaulting back to my thumb drive and the class. So if you want to save it into your um, HQ folder, you would, I think it's uh, the D drive at the tablet on the computer. And again, you would create a new folder. This little folder with the plus sign is a new folder. So you would save it under the D drive open a new folder and title it Amelia. And that way you know which design is under which folder. Or if you want to categorize them as edge to edge designs, block designs, uh, and similar to how your Pro Stitch or Premium files are organized as to the um, design type files, you can organize them that way. So that's how you would save it to your laptop or to your tablet at your machine. Go ahead and click save. You want to learn how to do this yourself because your significant other or the kids or the grandkids are not always going to be around to help you. So I invite you to refer back to this video I'll be glad to help you and walk you through it. And you can play, pause, rewind, and watch this as many times as you like. And I won't get annoyed. So I encourage you to like my video, subscribe to my channel down here on the right hand side underneath this video, and like it so you can come back and watch this video over and over again until you get comfortable with your computer and aren't afraid of the big bad word called zip files and organization. So I invite you to drop me a message if you have any questions. I can uh, be found on the website at kksquiltstudio.com. I hope you've enjoyed this video today and I invite you to come back and watch it often. So until we meet next time, I wish you happy quilting.